Well, let's see. Let's just wait for everybody to connect so we can start our class. And good evening. Hello, how are you guys? Hello, fine, thanks. Hello, Angelica, how are you? How was your day? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Good, so so. Good. Good, okay, perfect. Good night, teacher. Nice. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. A ver. Ok, cuando, good evening. Cuando saludamos, decimos good evening. Cuando decimos good night, estamos diciendo bye. Ok. okay. Este, teacher, eh, yeah. solamente comentarle. Ahorita me encuentro cerrando la sala. Voy a desconectar mi audio y por eso aún no es. No problem. No problem. No worry, Gabriela. Thank you very much. No problem. So, Atenas, hello, how are you? Your microphone? I'm fine. Excellent, excellent. And tell me, what Thank about you? you? I'm just fine, just fine. Thank you. Uh, and tell me, how was your day? Um, Good day? Good day. Okay, excellent. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo este día? Mm, drive a contract. Uh -huh. And talk to uh, most people. Okay. Talk to a lot of people. A lot. Mucha. Ah, Muchas personas. Okay. A lot of people. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Let's see, there's uh, Rebecca. Hello, Rebecca. How are you? Good evening. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Don't worry, we can talk later. No se preocupe, hablamos ahorita. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Maria Gonzalez, hello, how are you? Maria, can you hear me? Hi. Hi, how are you? Very well. <laughs> okay, excellent. You can say, you can say, I'm fine, I'm cool, I'm okay, I'm great. I'll give you some answers. You can check them out in the chat. You can say, I am fine. You can say, uh, I'm okay. You can say, uh, I'm doing, I'm doing great. You can say, just fine. These expressions are, they are saying like, good, okay? That's all, that's what they mean. Good, okay, no problem, fine, okay? You can say, so-so. Mm,
That's another way to say it. You can say, oh, so so. Okay, those are different expressions. And if you are doing, and you can also say, ah, you can say, not too bad. Not too bad. That would be like, uh, that's like saying, mm, not so menos, not too bad, just like that. Okay, so those are different types of expressions for telling. So tell me, Maria, what did you do today? Okay, so. Como dijo, perdón. What did you do today? Okay, so tell me. ¿Qué día es hoy? What did you do? ¿Qué hizo? Ah, ¿qué hizo? Um, um, trabaja, work. Ok, work. Ok, what do you do in your work? What do you do in your job? ¿Qué hace en su trabajo? Tell me. Um, ¿Cómo se dice vender? Sell. Sell it. Ok, yes, sell. Sell, sell medicina. Ok. Now, in this case, you are saying, you are speaking in past. Está hablando en pasado. I sold, I, I sold medicine. Medicine. I sold medicine. Yep. Okay. Now, uh, I got... I got a new word for you. I got a new word for you, but I know you're going to, to like, uh, how do you call, como dice, receta in English? We say, uh, prescription. That's a prescription. Una receta médica, it's a prescription, okay? Because there's the word recipe. Recipe is receta, but that's for cooking. Recipe is for cooking. Recipe is para cocinar. That's different, right? So when we are talking about medicines, is prescription. Thank you, Maria. Interesting. Milton, hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, teacher. Tell me, how's everything? Hola. How's everything? ¿Qué tal todo? Um, good. Good. Excellent, good. excellent. Tell me, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Mm -hmm. Sería excelente. Great. 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 Yep, you can say it great. great. Okay, excellent. And tell me, what did you do today? Okay, so. Eh, viajar a un departamento diferente. Okay, travel. 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 No, look at me, look at me. It's a little bit rounder. El sonido es un poquito redondo. Travel. Travel. To another department. Travel to another department. Okay. Travel to another Travel department. To another department. Okay. Department. 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 Okay. Now. Milton, I want you to do an exercise. Vamos a hacer un ejercicio, okay? Okay. Now, uh, okay, I will use a little bit of Spanish to explain the, the, the theory. En un segundo, Rebecca, por ahí le vi la mano levantada. En un segundo, okay? Let's see. It's this. Look, uh, diga la palabra caro. Diga. Caro. Okay. Ahora más despacio. Caro. Caro. Prestemos atención dónde está la lengua cuando pronunciamos la R. Si usted escucha caro, la lengua está tocando el cielo de la boca. Right? Okay. 
Ahora, la R en inglés es igual, solo que nuestra lengua va un poquito más atrás. Say again. Caro. Caro. Ok. Another. Another. Travel. Travel. Recipe. Recipe. Perfect. You see? Now, the pronunciation changed a little bit, right? The sound changed a little bit. Something that you will notice uh, with the pass of time, si se fijan, cambia un poco la pronunciación, algo que nos vamos a dar cuenta con el paso del tiempo, is that it's not just your pronunciation, the word that changes. Es que no solo la pronunciación. Also, your pitch of voice is going to change a little bit. También el tono de nuestra voz va a cambiar un poco. Uh, if you listen when I'm speaking in English, si escuchan cuando hablo en inglés, my voice changes a little bit. Mi voz cambia un poquito. It's because the way in which we mouth, es porque la manera como vocalizamos, is different. But don't worry. It's just a matter of time and practice, and we are going to practice a lot. Vamos a practicar mucho. So let's see. Uh, Brian. Hello, Brian. Thank you, Milton. Oh, I'm sorry, Brian. Give me just a second. Rebecca, what's Rebecca? Rebecca. Rebecca, you were raising your hand. Hello. Sí, estaba, estaba viendo los chats y la respuesta que pone ahí cuando le preguntan a uno que cómo está. Puede uno yeah. pronunciar, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm you fine. can say, I'm fine. Yes, yeah, sure. I'm fine. I'm okay. You can say, I'm no. cool. Just fine. I'm you can fine. contract. Whenever you're speaking, you can contract. Cuando quiera que uno está hablando, podemos contestar. That's no problem. ¿Mande? Siempre que estamos hablando, podemos contactar. That's not a problem, ¿ok? In this module, I will try sometimes to say the full form because you need to, to, to acquire it, but... Mostly when we are speaking, we use contractions. En este módulo voy a usar en muchas ocasiones formas completas, porque necesito que ustedes este, tengan esa base. Pero normalmente cuando hablamos usamos contracciones. A lot. That's quite normal. Okay? So let's see, where was uh, Brian? Hello, Brian. How are you? Uh, hello. Uh, very well. Very, very well. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. And tell me, how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Mm. <coughs> excellent. Excellent. Great. That's nice. Excellent. You can say excellent, you can say great. Okay, nice. Tell me, what did you do today? Hey, sorry. Uh, Living wise, convivir con mis compañeros y work. Okay, <coughs> share with my co-workers. Convivir, that's share. Uh -huh. Share with my so, yeah. co-workers. Like this. You can check it out in the chat. Share with my co-workers. Share, compartir, convivir. Okay, share. Uh, sure, gracias. Okay, say with me. Share with my co-workers. Share. <clears throat> with. My co-workers. My co-workers. Perfect. Excellent. Thank you, Brian, and welcome. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Who else is around? Uh, uh, Marvin, hello Marvin, how are you? Marvin was like, uh, mommy. Pretty good. Okay, okay, tell me, how was your day, Marvin? What? How was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? It's very good, excel excelente. Excellent. Okay. That's nice. What did you do today? ¿Qué hizo este día? Pues hoy descansé. 
Oh, really? Oh, that's perfect. Now, what you just told me is this. Lo que me acaba de decir esto. I rested today. You can say, I rested today. You can also say, puedes decir eso también. Uh, today was my day off. Today was my stuff off. Today was my day off means like, uh, eso significa como hacer, fue mi día libre. Oh, to, okay. today, my, today was my day off. No. That's cool. That's cool. Yes, perfect. Today was my day off. That's nice. Wow, yeah, to relax one day in the middle of the week is always good. Thank you, Marvin, and welcome. Let's see, Esmeralda, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm very good. Okay, tell me, how was your day? Uh, my day is Esmeralda Vasquez. No, how was your day? Uh, sorry. How was, tell me, tell me, how was your day? Yes, ahora. A good day. A good day, uh, a bad day. Um, yes, que es ahora? I make today. No, no. How was your day? ¿Qué, ¿Cómo estuvo su día? Sorry, my day is wonderful. Okay, yes. Give me just a second. Just give me a second. Okay. Well, uh, thank you very much, Esmeralda. Nice having you here. Welcome. Katia. Hello, Katia. How are you? Hello, teacher. <laughs> okay. Hello, how are you? Good evening. How are you? Como está usted? Very, very good. Okay, excellent, excellent. And how was your day? Como estuvo su día? My day, um, my day tired. Okay, okay, nice. Just give me a second, one of your classmates, pardon, uno de sus compañeros está teniendo problemas con conexión. Vamos a ver si le ayudamos. Es a second, I need just to make a... Okay, okay just a second, guys. I just need to make a small report. Solo tengo que reportar algo. Okay, guys, uh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I was just making a small report. Vamos a ver, Catherine, si alguien ayuda, okay? Let's see, let's see. Uh, Elisa, where's Elisa? I just saw Elisa. Good evening, Elisa, how are you? Hi. 
I'm fine. Thank you. That's nice. That's nice. And how was your day? ¿Qué tal su día? Mm, my day is mm, very good. Your day was very good. My day is very good. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you very much and welcome. Okay, guys, uh, well, it's the time. And usually, whenever, whenever we have a class, we are going to start with this. Siempre que iniciamos una clase, vamos a comenzar así. Having a conversation, teniendo una conversación, okay? Short conversation, but day after day, I will be giving you more information so our conversations get bigger. Cada día le voy a dar un poquito más para que la conversación becomes bigger, okay? Se vuelve un poquito más grande. So, uh, I will be giving you vocabulary, extra vocabulary, extra vocabulary, so we can all improve and practice, okay? It's gonna be fun, you will see. Now, let me see. Well, if you remember, uh, the last class I gave you a conversation, right? And I told you that we were going to to work with it. Les mencionaba yo que vamos a trabajar con ella. So if you remember, I sent you in the WhatsApp group, I sent you the conversation, the audio of the conversation, so you could practice. I expect you have the chance to listen to it. Espero hayan tenido la oportunidad de escucharla. And we are going to be like, uh, we are going to be like practicing today. I will give you four minutes for you to practice working in pairs. Lo voy a mandar en pares para que practiquen, okay? Four minutes, so you can practice the conversation. You have it there in the group. It's from the manual, la tenemos en el manual. And after that, we are going to come back here and we are going to do it together, okay? So let's jump in.
Hello, guys. Hi, teacher. Do you practice? Eh, estamos practicando era la conversación que, que nos dejó el lunes. Yep, exactly. Okay. Yes, I okay. Yep. Okay. Nos habíamos quedado licenciada en Rodrigo. Mm -hmm. Usted, Rodrigo. Okay. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are college. Thank you so much for the information. Ah, no, era usted. Usted termina, Hilton. Okay, thank you so much for the information. Information. Vaya, y vamos de nuevo. Yo soy Mari. Okay. Good morning, I am Miss Mari García. I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you too. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Rod Romero Lobos. Um, they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos. Um, Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues, colleagues. 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 Okay. Y la última de Mari. <laughs> Thank you so much for... Creo que sea... Ay, aquí está el... Está acá, creo. No le entendimos okay. eh, muy bien exactamente qué es lo que vamos a practicar si las... The conversation la I gave you last class, ¿no? yes, La exactly. conversación que nos blindó el lunes. Yes, exactly. Oh, sí, ¿verdad? Ah, ok. Yeah. Eso, esa duda teníamos si era lo de, lo, de, de lunes o lo, lo reciente. No, no, the one that I gave you, la que les di el lunes. Ah, ok. Ah, pues. Bueno, entonces, ahora sí, Elis, ¿tiene la, la imagen ahí? Sí. ¿Usted la tiene ahí? Sí, yo la tengo en las manos, sí. Good morning, I miss Maria. La vamos a decir eh, así en pareja o como. Yes. Ah. Eh, quitando esos nombres, ¿verdad que quitando esos nombres o manteniendo esos nombres? You can do it whichever way, no problem. Puede hacerlo cualquiera de las dos maneras. Ah, vaya. Ah, pues, creo que mejor sería así. Hi Paola, sorry, eh, se me desconectó la alumna que tenía problemita. No, por eso que ya se va a conectar nuevamente. Thank you. Thanks, thanks a lot.
Okay, let's see, everybody's coming back. Okay, guys, the time has come, but before we move on, let me get the attendance. Let me take the attendance, okay? Okay, let's see. Ana Maritza Flores Cervellón. Yeah. Present. Angelica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Thank you. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Thank you. Karen de Sirene Enjibar de Sánchez. Yo voy a comer. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Katia Stephanie Pineda Alvarado. Thank you. María Teresa González Veremos. Present teacher. Thank you. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubillas. Present teacher. Thank you, Mr. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Present. Thank you. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Okay, there is your mother. Yes, Thank you. Okay, guys, now, let's see, the activity that we are going to do is exactly this. Let me share with you, okay. This is the conversation, right? It says, good morning, I am Ms. Maria Garcia. Ms. Maria Garcia, I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, guys, now let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, Milton Garcia and Xiomara Chamilet. Xiomara, you are Mary. Milton, you are Romeo. Okay. Okay. Please start. Solo que no logro ver bien en la pantalla, puedo ponerlo en la... Well, you have it in. What about like this? Oh, 
puede ver no ahora? Yo also have it in the WhatsApp group. También lo tienen en el grupo de WhatsApp. No logro verlo bien. Estoy buscándolo en el celular. Okay. Let me know when you're ready. You got it? Ya lo tienen? Oops. La perdimos. Okay, Milton. You and me, Milton. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Miss Romero Lobos and the are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department, the R marketing manager. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are colleagues. Oh. And thank you so much for the information. Thank you very much. Elisa Martinez and Rivas. Uh, Sanchez, Brian, okay. Let's see. Elisa, you are Mary. Brian, you are Romeo and I am Rodrigo. Okay? Okay. Ahorita. Right now. Yep. Mm. Good morning. I'm Miss... Mary Garcia, I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome, we are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much Thank you for the information. Okay. Let's see, Catherine, give me a second right here. Don't go. Okay, Catherine, not semi vital. Give me just a second, guys, that we are trying to help a classmate here. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Well, let's continue. Who is gonna be next? Who's gonna be next, next group? Okay, guys, now, now Angelica and Maria. Gonzalez. 
And let's see, it's going to help you, Ana Maritza. Okay. Angelica, Maria Gonzalez, and Ana Maritza. Let me share again with you. Okay, so Angelica, you are Mary. Maria Gonzalez, you are Romeo. And Ana Maritza, you are Rodrigo. Let's do it. Hello. Hello. Angelica, you are Mary. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Maria González, you're Romeo. Hola, profe. Buenas noches. Ya me pude conectar. Ay, disculpe. No problem. No problem. Hello, Maria. Can you hear me? Hola, profe. Tengo problemas okay. con la pantalla ahorita. Permítame. Ok. okay. Oh, bueno. Yo soy Romeo, ¿verdad? Yep. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos. And they are Mr. Romeo Campos and Mr. Luis Pérez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we are from the same department, but we are quality. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now, Atenas, Katia, and Marvin. Atenas, you are Mary? Mary. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I am, no, I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Katia? Nice to meet you too. I am Issa Romero. Romero, and they are Campos. Marvin? Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I am from the department. Yes, we are from the same department. But we are college. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now I got Gabriela Celaya, Rebecca Morales. And Claudia Flamenco. Okay, Gabriela, you start, then Rebecca is Romeo and Claudia is Rodrigo. Good morning. I'm Mrs. I'm Miss Maria Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lowe's. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. Uh, hey, ay, ay, ya me trabé. Welcome. We are. We, welcome. We are. From the from, marketing. From the marketing department. No, I am not. I am from the quality department. They are marketing manager. Yes. We aren't. Yes, we are from the same department. The same department. 
But, but we are colleagues. We're colleagues. Okay. Thank you so much for the information. Perfect. Thank you, Rebecca. Thank you, ladies. Oh, thank you, Rebecca and Claudia. Now, Esmeralda, eh, Braulio, and let me see. And Xiomara. Okay. Esmeralda, you are Mary. Braulio, you ready? Hey, good morning. I am Mr. Mary Garcia. I, I am the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Braulio. Yo soy teacher. Perdón, no le logré escuchar. You are Rodrigo. Hola. Hola. Braulio, you are Romeo. Ah, okay. Eh, nice to meet you. I am Mr. Romeo. Eh, Lobos. And they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Eh, well, eh, welcome. We are from the marketing department. Braulio? Eh, no, I am not. I am from uh, the quality department. They are marketing managers. Jamara? Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much, guys, all of you. Now, listen to me. Good morning. I am Miss Mary Garcia. I'm the new secretary. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I am Mr. Romeo Lobos, and they are Mr. Rodrigo Campos and Mr. Luis Perez. Welcome. We are from the marketing department. No, I'm not. I'm from the quality department. They are marketing managers. Yes, we aren't from the same department, but we are colleagues. Thank you so much for the information. Pay attention to this word, please. Colleagues. Now, thank you. Very good exercise. Uh, you did pretty well, guys. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now, uh, I prefer, I also prefer something a little bit different for you guys. And I have a PowerPoint presentation. If you remember, I told you that you were going to have a PowerPoint presentation related to the, to how to use the simple present with verb be, right? So let me just open it, give us a second. Okay, here we go. Sorry, it's just that the app is lagging a little bit. But I have it right here. 
right about now. Okay, perfect. Okay, now. Well, the verb be how to use the verb. Affirmative. I am. I'm. You are. You're. He is. He's. She is, she's, it is, it's, affirmative, we are, we're, you are, you're, They are there negative. I'm not. You aren't. He isn't. She isn't. It isn't. Negative. We aren't. You aren't. They aren't. Interrogative. Am I? Now, if you notice here, we changed the order for the interrogative sentence. First, we place the verb, and then we place the subject. Are you? Is she? Okay, listen. Am I? Are you? Is he? Is she? Is it? Interrogative. Are we? Are you? Are they? Now, if you notice, we are using two times are you. Remember that are you, you is used for singular and for plural. Este es utilizado para singular y plural. Usted y ustedes. Okay? Now, we use it to say who we are. Utilizamos el presente simple para decir quiénes somos. Who Brad Pitt are. is an actor. Okay. To talk about the weather, para hablar sobre el clima. It is very cold today. Well, today actually is the very opposite. Hoy este día realmente lo opuesto, ¿verdad? It is very hot today. We use it to talk about time. What time is it? What time is it? ¿Qué hora es? Right now, it is uh, 9 p.m. Right? The Amazon River isn't in Canada. To talk about a place, look, the Amazon River isn't in Canada. Isn't in Canada. 
we also use it to talk about how we feel. She is angry. I am tired. Estoy cansado. I am sick. Estoy enfermo. I am happy. Estoy feliz. You see? To talk about people's age. To talk about people's age. Para hablar de la edad. I'm 24 years old. I'm, in my case, I am 42, 42 years old. We use it to say hello. How are you? How are you? I am fine. I am happy. I am great. Do you remember? Give me just a second. Okay. We use it to describe things. Elephants aren't small. Elephants aren't small. Los elefantes no son chicos. Aren't. Okay, to be. Um, is, are. Questions. Kate and Sal. Okay, look at the question. Kate is Sal, that's affirmative. Now, when we are when we are uh, uh, asking a question, we change the position. Like in this, look. Is Kate sad? Am um, is our questions. In this case, it my computer. What do I use? Que utilizo? Help me out, guys. Hello. Who wants to help me? Quien me ayuda? Que palabra me falta acá? It is. It is. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriela. Is it my computer? Perfect. Now, when we have these type of questions, it's very interesting something. Teacher. Yes, tell me. Eh, una consulta. En el caso de el is it, eh, es separado de cuando decimos is, is, is it. Is it my computer? What you mean? Ajá, en el caso de my computer, is it my computer? Is it, is it, cuando lo leemos, lo leemos junto. Is it? Is, is it, it my computer? My computer. Yeah. Okay. 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 Now, something very interesting. We have this type of questions are called yes, no question. I'm going to stop here for a minute. Voy a terminar con un minuto. Okay. Something very, very interesting is this. Algo muy interesante es eso. We have in English two type of questions. Tenemos dos tipos de preguntas. Yes, no questions. 
preguntas de sí o no en information questions. Okay. The information questions do exactly that. La information hacen exactamente eso. They ask for specific information. What is your name? Where do you work? How are you? Okay. Cuando yo le pregunto, what is your name? I am asking for specific. ¿Cuál es tu nombre? Exactly. Specific information, right? When I ask you, uh, where do you live? Donde vive? Specific information. But we also have yes, no question. También tenemos preguntas de yes, no. Preguntas que contestamos utilizamos para uh, confirmar algo. Like, uh, are you a student? Are you in class? No está un estudiante, esto está en clase. Are you married? Está casado o casada. Are you single? Está soltero. Like, like play soccer. Oh, do you like to play soccer? Yes, yeah, that's... That's a yes, no question, okay? So in this case, when we are talking about uh, the verb be, cuando hablamos del verbo ser o estar, the questions, the yes, no questions, the answers is a little bit longer. Es un poquito más larga que en español. In Spanish, we will say just like yes or no, right? Decimos simplemente sí o no. Like I ask uh, Maria, Yo le pregunto a María, ¿Are you married? ¿Está yes. usted casada, María? Oh, okay. Yes. In English, you say, yes, I am. Ok, en inglés decimos, yes, I am. María says, yes, I am married. Or simple, the shortest answer is, yes, I am. La respuesta más corta sería, yes, I am. Ok. Or if she's single, like Esmeralda, Esmeralda, are you married? No, I don't marry. Okay, no, I am not married. Mm -hmm. Or simple, she says, no, I am not. That's the shortest. The más corto sería, no, I'm not. Okay, in English, it's a little bit bigger. It's un poquito más larga. And it's what we are going to continue watching. Y es lo que vamos a continuar viendo. Let me share again with you. Look, is it my computer? Yes, it is. No, it isn't. Next one. Look, we happy today. What is the word that I am missing? Are we? Okay, thank you. Are we happy today? Now, the short answer, affirmative, look, yes, we are. And the negative, no, we aren't. Now, oh, very romantic. Look, are you, my love? The happy answer, yes, I am. Oh, the bad answer, no, I'm not. They friends, look, are they friends? Are, because we're talking about they. Yes, they are, no, they aren't. Is she Hermione? Yes, she is. No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Is he Harry Potter? Yes, he is. No, he yes, is. He, not he. Look at this one. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Is he sad? Is he sad? Yes, he is. Right? 
are they sad? No, they aren't. Are you English? Oh, look at this flag. Are you English? And she answers, no, I'm not, because the flag is not the one from England. Is she a teacher? What do you think? Yes, she is, or no, she's not? Yes, she is. Okay, yes, she is, she's a teacher. Okay, now tell me. In this case, what am I missing? ¿Qué me falta? Is, is he? Is, okay, perfect. Is he a doctor? Tell me, yes, he is or no, he isn't? Is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes. No, he is a dentist. He is a dentist. Oh, all right. Okay. Is it a bike? No. No. No, it isn't. It isn't a bike. It is a car. Yeah. Okay, in this case, what am I missing? Is, is, is it a book? Is, is it a book? book? No, it isn't. It is a notebook. It's a notebook. Now, in this one. Um, is, 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 is it a sweater? Is it a sweater? Yes, it is. Yes. Yes. yes, it is. Okay. Guys, are you a teacher? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes I am. Yes. Are you a dentist? Yes. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Uh -huh. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Now, guys, let me get the second attendance. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Presente. Thank you. Angélica Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Presente. Brian Alexander Rivas Sanchez. Present. Braulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. Present teacher. Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Cire Mingibar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzavilla. Present. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. María Teresa González Belemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubías. Present, teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Present. Mirna Atenas San Vanegas Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present. Oh, thank you. Okay, guys, now let's see. Remember, please, in the affirmative, we use. Let me share with you. This is going to be easier than this. Okay. We have the affirmative form. For the affirmative form, the structure, if you remember, is 
subject plus bear plus complement. That's the affirmative for an affirmative sentence. Now, for a negative sentence, when we are talking about the negative sentences, we have subject plus verb plus not plus complement. Oops. Okay, now we also have interrogative sentence. When we have interrogative sentences, the structure goes like this. Verb plus subject plus complement plus question mark. Okay? Now, an affirmative sentence. Look. I am happy in class. Now, if you notice, I is the subject, am is the verb, and happy in class is the complement. Now, in the second one, if we want to make this sentence into a negative one, it's very simple, look. We say, I am not happy in class. Now, if we want to make this sentence into a question, look, am I in class? And we got us at the end, the question mark. Questions up to here? Preguntas hasta acá? This is the basic structure. Esta es la estructura básica. It means that a sentence can have more elements. Yes. Una oración puede ser más larga. Sí. Shorter. No. Más corta. No. Because this is the minimum elements you need for a sentence. Estos son los elementos mínimos que usted necesita para una oración. Now, remember that we are talking about the verb. B. Recordemos que estamos hablando del verbo B. Only and exclusively for the verb B. Esta es la estructura y las reglas para el verbo B. Okay? So, we got another sentence like, uh, like you are my friend. Very simple, right? You are my friend. Oops, sorry. Capital at the beginning. Negative. What will it be this sentence into negative? Let's see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh -huh. Esmeralda, this sentence, you are my friend in negative? No, I have a question. Solo esas estructuras son para la oración del verbo afirmativo, negativa sentences, interrogativa, o hay más? No, estas reglas son solamente para el verbo ser o estar. Es lo que les acababa de mencionar. Esto funciona solamente para el verbo ser o estar. Es que yo me sabía otras. La verdad, sinceramente, no quiero enredarme. La verdad, sí. Me ¿Cuál es la que usted se sabe? Al menos en afirmativo, sabía que era subject, el verbo y el complemento. En Ajá. negativo... Tengo el subject, el don, y el, el, okay. el verbo. Vale. Ok, usted está hablando de presente simple, todo el resto de verbos, y como les explicaba ayer, y como les estoy mencionando ahorita, estas reglas son exclusivas para el, para el verbo cero estar. Este es un verbo especial. 
con verbo especial que no sigue esa regla que usted tiene ahí. Esa regla aplica para todos los demás verbos, menos esta. Esa regla aplica para todos. ¿Es correcta? Sí. Exceptuando este. Este verbo es la excepción. El verbo be, que es el que tenemos acá, que nosotros recordamos que es cuando decimos am, is, are. ¿Verdad? Siempre que yo estoy usando am, is, are, presente simple del verbo ser o estar, esta es la estructura. ¿Ok, Esmeralda? Ok. 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 ¿Do you understand me? You see, in this case, cuando hago esa pregunta, utilicé el verbo understand. Ahí se aplica. ¿Do you understand me? ¿Me entiendes? Yes, teacher. Ok, perfect. Now, Esmeralda, this sentence, negative. Esta oración es negativa. You are my friend. Negative, please. Um, you are not my friend. Exactly. Perfect. You are not my friend. Now, Esmeralda, the same sentence, interrogative. Esmeralda, hello. Are you... Okay. Sorry, okay. are you, are you, uh -huh. are you my friend? Are you my friend? Perfect. Thank you. Now, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Atenas, I got one for you. Okay, Atenas, uh, let's see. Oops, sorry. The affirmative sentence is this. Is he your husband? Is, oops, I'm sorry. He is your husband. Él es su esposo. Negative. He's not your husband. He is not your husband. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Now, Atenas, interrogative. Is he your husband? Is he your husband? And the question mark. Oops, mm -hmm. here I forgot the question. Thank you. Okay, guys. Quest questions? Preguntas? Okay, perfect, perfect. Now, uh, if you don't mind, I will share with you. the screenshot, le voy a compartir una screenshot de lo que acabamos de hacer in the group, so you can have it. There you go. And also, at the end of the class, I will share with you also the PowerPoint presentation, okay? I mean, I will compartir the PowerPoint. So you can have it. The one that I was presented, so you can check it out. Whenever I prepare one, I will share with you. Siempre que prepare una, se la voy a compartir, okay? So you can have a make a review. Also, remember that it's here in the recording of the class. Recuerdense que también está en la grabación de la clase. Now, regarding that, relacionado con eso y antes de avanzar. ¿Hemos podido ingresar a la plataforma? Yep. Yes. Ok. Yes. Okay. Teacher, yes. tengo una pregunta. Yeah. Tell me. Eh, en, el, en el caso de la oración, estaba hablando solamente en casos singulares, ¿verdad? Yep, yep, yep. Yes, yes. 
like plurals will be like, uh, are we are we in class right now? Estamos en clase en este momento. And you tell no. me, yes, we are in class right now. That's an affirmative. Or you tell me, no, we are, we are not in class right now. Okay? Okay. Sure. Okay. Now, let's go back to the manual. Volvemos al manual. I will share with you. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Now, Rodrigo and Luis, marketing managers, we colleagues, Romeo and Rodrigo, from the same department. They in the same company. Okay, guys, we need to, fin to fill in this info. Tenemos que llenar esa información. So, let's see, let's see. Elisa, Elisa, please help me with number one. Rodrigo and Luis, what is it missing? ¿Qué le falta? They are. Okay, Rodrigo and Luis are. Perfect. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Now, Elisa, please repeat after me. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Rodrigo and Luis are marketing managers. Perfect. Number two, Milton. Milton is very quiet. Milton is muy calladito. Help me out, Milton. Oh, Milton is going by the moment. Okay, Marvin, your turn. Romeo. They are. Romeo and, Romeo and Rodrigo. They are. Are. are from the same department. Bye. Acá les quiero aclarar algo. El pronombre. They. Yo puedo utilizar en una oración el pronombre, they are from the same department, o puedo usar los nombres, Romeo and Rodrigo are from the same department. Estos se pueden intercambiar. ¿Ok? O sea que en este caso, cuando yo estoy diciendo Romeo and Rodrigo, realmente estoy diciendo ellos, ¿verdad? Entonces, no necesito ponerlo porque ya está implícito en la idea al mencionar los nombres. ¿Ok? Usted utiliza o el pronombre o el nombre, no los dos juntos. So in this case, Romeo and Rodrigo are from the same department. Okay, let's see, let's see. Rebecca, Rebecca, where are you? Number three. Mm. Uh. Okay. We are, thank you. We are colleagues. Thank you. Now. We are calling. Perfect, Rebecca. Thank you. Ana Maritza, please, number four. They are. Okay, they are. Please, the word sentence. They are in the same company. In the same company. Perfect. They are in the same company. Excellent. Excellent. Now, guys, before we move on, antes que avance, any questions? I know that for some of you right now, you are like, man, this class is too complex. Yo sé que para algunos de ustedes ahorita la clase está como muy complicado. Perhaps the fact that I'm speaking mostly in English, quizás el hecho de que casi solo uso el inglés. But let me explain something. Well, let me explain a couple of things. Déjenme mencionarles un par de cosas. First off, primero, eh, algunos les estará apareciendo un mensajito que dice eh, su micrófono ha sido desactivado, actívenlo. Eso sucede porque eh, yo le desactivo el micrófono. Porque a veces si usted comienza a hacer ruido en su casa o alguien le llama, pasa, estamos en casa, 
alguien habla con usted, automáticamente el micrófono, la aplicación, identifica de que usted quiere hablar y de que no lo tiene activado y le dice, active. Y lo que le va a suceder es que yo lo voy a estar silenciando. ¿Ok? Simplemente les aviso porque a veces sucede que eh, el ruido del ambiente, algunos utilizan quizás un audífono muy sensible y eh, créanme, a veces se oye muy, muy fuerte. Solo ese detallito. Ahora, perdón que esté hablando español, pero quiero que quede, me quede claro mi idea. Estoy utilizando muchísimo inglés, porque esto se le llama, eh, utilizamos nosotros dos metodologías. Una es task-based approach. Una metodología se llama eh, un enfoque en, en una aplicación, en un uso, en un task. Entonces, Siempre en la clase nos va a ir pidiendo que nosotros hagamos algo, que al final de la clase usted sea capaz de hacer algo. Luego utilizó otra metodología que es llamada Total Physical Approach, que es un enfoque completo hacia lo que es el idioma. Yo lo tengo que bombardear a usted, sus ojos, sus oídos, con mucho, mucho inglés, de manera tal que usted al principio no me va a entender mucho. Y quizás vamos a ir captando una o dos palabras. Te va a sonar en este momento que seas un poco silly, un poco tonto, pero that's the idea, es la idea. Al principio se no va a captar mucho, pero después que vaya yo repitiendo lo mismo, lo mismo, lo mismo, esas palabras se van a ir volviendo más comunes para usted. Entonces, eh... El aprender inglés, los cursos de inglés tienen dos momentos que son muy difíciles. Uno son Beginners 1, Beginners 2. El principiante 1 y 2. Porque nos asustamos, nos da miedo y decimos no voy a aprender y nos cuesta avanzar, decir, sentimos nosotros. Poco a poco les voy a ir dando. Si se fijan, este día ya tuvimos conversaciones. Hello, good evening. Hello, good evening. How are you? I am fine. How was your day? It was great. Eso fue una conversación. You are having a conversation in English. Tuvieron una conversación en inglés. Poco a poco la vamos a ir haciendo más grande. Les vamos a ir ayudando a que lo hagamos. Everybody, all together, todos juntos. So, relax. El otro momento más difícil en el aprendizaje de inglés, donde muchos dejan de estudiar, es cuando ya llegan, terminan los niveles intermedios. Porque ya sienten que hablan mucho. Créanme. Y entonces ahí... Y otra, ya estamos cansados. Eh, bueno, tengo bastante tiempo en esto, créanme, al inicio lo sentimos así. Todo es que, una, no tengamos pena, y la otra, ser constantes. You will do it. You will make it. Believe me. Lo van a lograr, créanme. I mean, I have worked in different areas, he trabajado en distintas áreas, eh, but my whole life, pero durante... 22 years, I have worked with English preferred. Siempre he trabajado con cursos de inglés. And you can do it. No worry. It's just a matter of time and patience. Y no se desmotive. At the beginning, it's hard. Mostly when the teacher starts speaking just in English. Al principio se siente duro porque el profesor comienza a hablar solo en inglés todo el tiempo. But it follows an objective. Esto sigue un objetivo. Okay? Hay una meta. So, relax. No ha perdido sus dos horas y pasó dos horas escuchándome y me entendió una o dos palabras. Ha aprendido una o dos palabras. Y no se le van a olvidar. One or two phrases that you are not going to forget. Una o dos frases que no va a olvidar. So, take a deep breath. Relax. I know it's a little bit hard at the beginning. Sé que es un poquito duro. You are going to feel it very slow. Lo van a sentir un poquito lento. That's normal. Uh, I mean, according to your advance, I will start increasing the pace. De acuerdo a su avance, voy a comenzar a aumentar el ritmo. And I'll give you an example. Y les daré un ejemplo. If you notice, most of the time I am speaking at this speed. Si se dan cuenta, la mayor parte del tiempo hablo a, a en ese ritmo. My usual rhythm of speaking in English is actually this. Mi velocidad normal, realmente, cuando hablo en inglés, es esta. 
I mean, I tend to speak a little bit faster. I tend to use uh, perhaps more difficult words. Comienzo a hablar un poquito más rápido, quizás un poquito de palabras más difíciles. But that's according to the level, so don't worry. No se preocupe. I know that you will reach a point, sé que van a llegar a un punto, that if I start speaking fast, que si yo comienzo a hablar rápido, you are going to understand, van a entender. So, relax, take a deep breath, we are going to continue. It's easy. It's just a matter of practice and patience. So, no una cosa de práctica y paciencia. You'll do it. Now, let me continue. Is there any question before I move on? ¿Hay alguna pregunta antes de continuar? Many, you say. Demasiadas. Not right now. Okay, perfect, perfect. Oh, by the way, I'm... Yes? Disculpe, este, fíjese que yo con referente a, a lo que me estaba pasando hace rato que no me podía conectar, eso me cuenta como, men, digamos, menos minutos, menos la educación. Eh, Porque como si, todo si es... Si estuvo con... Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Si la pantalla estuvo conectada y usted aparecía su imagen ahí de que estuvo conectada, son minutos que cuentan. Es que lo único intenté... que no le cuenta fueron los minutos que usted se desconectó. Como intenté, Pero... me intenté ingresar y actualicé la aplicación y luego ingresé otra vez y así hice como cinco veces. Sí, no. solo los minutos que no estuvo conectada son los que pierde, pero el resto sí. No se preocupen, no. igual si en un momento este, ya alguno de ustedes tiene varias faltas y los minutos ya le van quedando cortos, yo igual le voy a decir, mire, de aquí para allá no se me pierda ni un minuto porque vamos al límite, ¿ok? Ok, profe, un gracias. Un par de compañeros de ustedes que sí les tengo que recordar que lo del tiempo ya está, ya está corriendo, pues realmente no tengo tanta oportunidad de falta. But don't worry, right now no problem, ¿ok? Ok, profe, está bien. Gracias. No problem. Let's continue, guys. Perdón, lo voy a silenciar a todos nuevamente. Ok. We go back to the manual. Regresamos a la Remember, you got the manual. Todos tenemos el manual, ¿verdad? If not, you can download it from the platform. Si no lo pueden descargar también de la plataforma. This is what we were working in the presentation. How to use be plural subjects. Affirmative statements. We are Irene and Cindy. We're Irene and Cindy. You are managers. You're managers. They are colleagues. They're colleagues. We are not Irene and Cindy. We're not Irene and Cindy. You are not managers. You're not managers. They are not colleagues. They're not colleagues. Listen, they are not colleagues. They're not colleagues. You are not managers. You're not managers. We are not Irene and Cindy. We're not. We're. Listen. Now, the exercise. Complete the statements using the plural of be. Okay. And the information on parentheses. Then compare the answers with a partner. So, like in this case, what are we going to do? ¿Qué vamos a hacer? Look at the example. They receptions. Okay. This is an affirmative. They are receptions. Look. This one is negative. You are not supervisors. Then we have Susan and Marcos, colleagues. Then we have accountants. Then we have we, Carl and Sandra. Then we have they, Ms. Herrera and Ms. Mejia. Okay? So we are going to complete, complete. Okay? Now, how are we going to do it? Working in pairs. Vamos a trabajar en parejas. Two minutes. This is very simple. Esto es muy fácil. Remember, that's in the manual. Eso está en el manual. In page number 12. Página 12. I will send it to the group also. También se lo envío al grupo, okay? So, uh, let me see. You're going to work in small groups of three per better. 
Okay, guys, groups are created. Jump in, let's do it. Hello guys, Marvin, I'm sorry. I will move you to another group. Perdón, Marvin, lo voy a enviar a otro group. Sorry, 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 let me see. There you go. Okay, ladies, do you understand the activity? Entendemos la actividad? Vaya. La actividad es completar este, las oraciones. Yep, exactly. To complete the Vaya. sentences. Susana and Marcos are not colleagues. Perfect. By the way, uh, Atenas, I'm sorry. Okay. Precisamente por eso los armenes y a ustedes de este grupo. Tienen dos Sorry. Eh, perdón, Iris. Ahora estamos a 29, ¿verdad? Sí. Apenas. Eh, para mañana, es 30, jueves, Angélica Guadalupe. Les estoy mencionando a quienes eh, tengo 10 minutos asignados con ustedes. ¿Ok? Ok. Al finalizar de la clase, este día, Atenas, la voy a entretener. Un, un minutito nada más para una tutoría personalizada, ¿ok? Ok. Mañana Angélica y el viernes María, ¿ok? Si en un dado caso tienen alguna situación que les impida, ustedes solo me avisan y yo les reprogramo. Ok. Thank you. Cinco Ajá, Spanish. Got you. <laughs> Surprise, dear. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell me, tell me, tell me. ¿En cuál vamos? Number five. La... Cinco. Cinco. Estamos sí. con dudas. Why? Ah, profe, ayúdanos. Very simple. Ok, imagínense Porque... que Catherine o que Rebeca me va a presentar, se va a presentar conmigo y al mismo tiempo me va a presentar a Catherine. Me dice, ah, nosotras somos Rebeca ah. y Catherine. You see? Yeah. Now, in English? Uh, we are. Perfect. You see? Very simple. <laughs> Ay, Jesus. My... We are Carla y Sandra. Y el B, y el B no lo vamos a agregar. Uh -huh. ahí. No. Eso, okay. por eso estaba diciendo. <laughs> now, now, now. Cada vez que les escribo B, se han fijado que les pongo entre paréntesis am, is, and are. It's because the verb be, es porque el verbo be, is conjugated, se conjuga, am, is, or are. Cada es vez que yo le pongo un sujeto, no. Lo que pasa es que el verbo be es en su forma simple, quiere decir ser o estar. Cuando ah. se conjuga, cuando le pongo un sujeto antes. Si ya le puse un sujeto, cambió a am, is, or are. ¿Ok? Yeah. Por eso es que este verbo lo vemos aparte, porque es un poquito strange. Un poquito okay. raro, ¿vale? Sí. Pero am, is, are es el verbo be. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ok. Thank you. No problem. No problem. Number what? Which one? La... Yeah, they are Miss Herrera. Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. Mejia. 
Yeah, miss, look at me. Veanme, veanme. We have miss, miss, miss. Ese lo utilizamos whenever I don't know if you are married. Ese lo utilizo cuando no sé si usted está casada o soltera. It would be like for us, uh, como que yo le diga, señor. No sé si es señorita o señora. Okay. When I don't know, I use miss, miss. Es diferente de miss, miss is single. Es soltera. Mrs. Yeah. Es casada. Got it? So we have miss, single, miss, I don't know, Mrs. Casada. M-I-S-S-E. -S no, o como. M-I-S-S-E. -S no. Si usted se fija en oración, permítame. Where is it? Oh, right here. Is right here. Este es cuando yo no sé. Miss. Okay. Okay. Because if you remember, if I have Miss, that's single. Es que señorita. Soltera. Right? Then I have Miss. Este, I don't know. Este es porque no sé. And then I have this one, que es señora. So we have Miss, Miss, Mrs. Okay? Miss, Miss, Mrs. Uh -huh. Got it? Okay. Okay, let's go back to the main room. Okay. Oh, Marvin's got visit there. He's got company. Okay, guys, okay, okay. Now, we're going to do this quite fast because we have another activity. Well, actually, we have two activities that we need to finish tonight. Okay? But it's going to be very simple. Whoops. Okay, number one, Atenas. They are receptionists. Number two, Braulio. Okay, Braulio is not available. Uh, 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 Angelica Guadalupe. Oh, there's probably. Okay. Probably, you got it? Number two? Uh, Enrique. Braulio. Number two, you? Uh, you are. Uh -huh, you are? You are? No. No. Super big. Supervisors. Thank Supervisors. you, Claudia. Thank you, thank you. Now, thank you, Claudia. Appreciate it. Uh, Elisa, number three. Elisa.
Este, Susana and Marco are not college. Okay. Are not colleagues. 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 Thank you. Colleagues. Now, Marvin, number four. Colleagues. We are accountants. We are accountants. Accountants. Okay. Accountants. Perfect. Thank you. Accountants. That was uh, 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 um, Brian, number five. We are Carla and Sandra. We are Carla and Sandra. Perfect. Number six, Rebecca. Okay. They are Mr. Herrera and Mr. Miss Mejia. Miss, perdón. Okay. They, they are, are me. They are no. me. Herrera and Miss Mejia. Now, uh -huh. listen up, guys. I was explaining to some of you. Let me explain our group. We have Mr. Mr. means señor. Sí, me equivoqué. Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. Then we have Miss. Okay. And we also have oops, Mrs. The difference, okay. the difference here. Mr. Male. Este es para masculino, señor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Señora. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And we have also Miss Señorita. Señorita. Okay, yeah. now. No, Señorita singular. Señorita. What is what is Miss? ¿Qué es Miss? Es cuando no sabemos si está soltera o casada, decimos Miss. Okay? Mm -hmm. okay. When we don't know when we don't know, we use this. Cuando no sabemos, utilizamos Miss. So, they are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. Okay? Okay. They are Miss Herrera and Miss Mejia. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Now, guys, the exercise. The exercise. El ejercicio. Okay. Complete and practice the conversation with two new classmates using your own names and information in the guide. Continue the conversation in your own way. Okay, nosotros tenemos que completar esta conversación. An example. Hello. Un ejemplo. Hello, I am Douglas. Hi, nice to meet you. Let's see who's going to help me. Atenas, open your microphone, please. Yeah. Okay, you start. Usted comienza. Usted es el A. Hello, I am Atenas. Oh, hi. Nice to meet you. We are Douglas and Marvin. We are Marvin. Dice we luego, are. Oh, permita. Marvin dice. Oh, we are electricians. Y usted nos dice. Really? I am. Y nos cuenta qué es lo que hace usted. Got it? Okay. That's what we are going to do. We are going to have a conversation between three persons. Okay? Okay. Okay, let's see. Esmeralda, you were asking me about the new colleague. Colleague. Colega. And also you were asking me about what? Surname. Okay, let's see. Surname is... Oh. Surname is all English. It's very formal. Es una palabra que yo casi no utilizamos. Es muy formal. Le va a parecer quizás en... Cuando tenga que llenar una documentación, perhaps, legal. She's asking me about this word, surname. Usually what we use is last name. 
lo que utilizamos hoy en día es last name. Okay. Sorry, guys. Oops. What we use is last name, apellido. Surname is not used no more. We don't use it. I mean, it's old fashioned. You use it when you are writing. Se utiliza cuando se escribe. When you are like, uh, you fill in a form. Cuando usted va a llenar una, una forma o un documento. But besides that, when you are speaking, I mean, you will never listen to someone. Please, can you tell me your surname? Nunca va a escuchar a nadie usarlo así. You're going to listen to people ask you, hey, what's your last name? Okay. I mean, that's pretty old, old English. And as I told you, very formal. Okay, guys, the activity. You are going, I'm going to divide you in groups of three members. You are going to create a conversation. How? ¿Cómo van a crear la conversación? Following the example. The structure that I'm going to give you. La que tenemos ahí en el libro, okay? Profe. Any question? Yep. Perdón, fíjense que la señal se me fue <laughs> mientras estaba explicando. Pero según lo que entendí es básicamente como lo que estaba diciendo de last, last name, last name, no me acuerdo cómo se pronuncia. Es básicamente como eh, del como hacer más corto, más corta la pronunciación. Algo así, no sé si yo me estoy confundiendo. ¿Cuál, cuál, 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 cuál? Lo que estaba pronunciando de last name, cuando vamos a hacer este, una last conversación. Is... Que no, no. no, le explicaba no sé si este, le explicaba a Esmeralda de que, eh, porque ella me preguntaba por medio del chat del grupo de Zoom, que, que era surname, cómo lo Ajá. utilizábamos. Y yo le explicaba que es una palabra que ya no utilizamos. En lugar de decir surname, decimos last name, apellido. Mm. Okay. Ah, yo había entendido que era como una abreviación, básicamente. No, 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 no. Mm. Ah, ok. Okay, now in the groups, in the group, I just send you the screenshot of what you are going to do. Okay, you will have four minutes for this. Solo cuatro minutos to create that conversation. So you gotta be fast. And I'm going to be jumping from group to group. So groups are created. Please jump in. Let's do it. Hurry up. Hello. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Rebecca. Hi, Ana Maritza. Hi. Okay, guys. What are you going to do? Is very simple. ¿Qué van a hacer? Fácil. Imagine that you have this. You got this. Okay. What are we going? Okay. ¿Qué van a hacer? Fill in. Like, hello, I am, veamos, ¿quién va a comenzar? Perhaps, uh, 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 who's in the group? Ana Maritza, right? So she says, hello, I am Ana. And then uh, Rebecca says, hi, nice to meet you. We are... Rebecca and Catherine, right? No. Catherine. Then Catherine says, you know, Catherine dice, we are sellers, perhaps. Dice, somos quizás vendedores, we are sellers, okay? Uh -huh. Got it? Okay. And luego dice, ¿quién comenzó? Sorry, ah, oh, Ana. Really, I am. Y luego dice ella, ¿a qué se dedica? Simple. Got it? Ok, profe. Ok. Ok. 
Hello. Hello. How are you, ladies? Por aquí. I'm fine. Vaya, entonces. That's cool. That's cool. Who's going to start? ¿Quién va a comenzar? Tell me. Um, Angelica. Tenemos oh, tres hidratos. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is the, remember. Es esto, mire. If you look at the screen, what you're going to do, uh -huh. simple. Let's see. ¿Quién es tengo acá? ¿Quién es tengo? ¿Quién es tengo? I got Mary, Angelica. Angelica. So, Angelica starts. Hello. I am... Angelica. Okay. And Athena says, Hi, nice to meet you. We are Athenas and Mary. Okay. Y viene Mary dice, Ah, we are, I don't know, sellers, managers. Okay. A que se dedica. Y luego viene Angelica y dice, Really? I am. Y cuenta a que se dedica a ella. Sí. Okay. sí. Simple, right? Sí, hoy sí. <laughs> okay, guys. You got it? ¿Sí entendimos la actividad? Sí, sí. Yes. Okay, yes. who's going to start? Who's going to start? ¿Quién va a comenzar? Hello, I am Braulio. Yeah. Hi, nice to meet Hi. you. Nice to meet you too. Ay, uh -huh. señor. Yeah, yeah, nice you're right. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. We are. We are. Cualquiera sería. Cualquiera ocupación. Cualquiera dice, dice, no. Primero se presentan. Él se ha presentado. Baeles. Oh, we are. We are Elisa, Brian, and Claudia. Ah, y luego quizás okay. Brian dice o Claudia dice, oh, we are sellers. We are managers. Okay. Mm -hmm. Occupation. Y luego yeah. Brian regresa y le dice, oh, I am. Y él le dice, I am a manager too. Entonces el que mm -hmm. le dice, ah, yo también soy un gerente. Right? Got it? Mm -hmm. Sí, vamos. Bye. Empieza Braulio, ¿verdad? I'm. Vaya Marvin, tu profesión. Mm. Tu ocupación. Tu accountant. Huh? An accountant. I am an accountant. Uh, I am an accountant. <laughs> I am an accountant. Oh, you hadn't seen me. No me había visto. <laughs> I am an accountant. Oh, Esmeralda, you have problems with the computer, right? <laughs> that happens, Vaya. that happens, don't worry. Entonces, ahí, por ejemplo, después <laughs> tendríamos que nos, eh, supuestamente, eh, niña Xiomara y yo decir algo. Eh, es que por eso, bueno, vaya, yo me presento. Sí. Ajá. La compañera, Hello. la compañera Esmeralda dice el segundo párrafo. No, 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 lo cambiamos porque entonces ahí me presentaba, este, si, eh, Lixion Mara me pre se presentaba ahí, me presentaba a mí. Y después entonces era que entraba Esmeralda y decía, we are, y, de, y estaba diciendo que era eh, maestro, ¿verdad? We are teacher. Vaya, entonces vos decías eh, la, la, otra vez la A, que era decir, really? I am, y dijiste, es accountant. An accountant. Ajá. Entonces en okay. ese caso, niña be, Xiomara tendría be careful, que decir algo. Be careful what you prefer because tomorrow you are going to present it to the class. Mañana me lo van a presentar a la clase. Right at the beginning. Yes. Okay. Practice, practice. We are going to practice a lot. I need you guys speaking. Poco a poco okay. la clase yo voy a hablar menos. You are going to speak more. Okay. So, let's go back to the main room. Okay. No, 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 no yet, no yet, no yet. Relax, todavía no.
Rebecca. Oh, that's a Smeralda too. Okay, guys, we're just giving a couple of seconds for everybody to be back. Repeat that, right? Everybody's coming back. Todo bien en día de regreso. Okay, perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, now, the conversation you just prepare. La conversación que acaban de preparar. To, due to the factor time, debido al factor tiempo, the conversation gets postponed for tomorrow. Se postpone para mañana. Tomorrow, I'm not going to divide you into groups. No lo voy a dividir en grupos. Automatically, everybody's here. I'm going to ask you, hey guys, please, let's do the conversation. Now, just let me do something. Para que no se me olvide, déjame tomar una picture of the groups. How did they end up? ¿Cómo quedaron al final? So nobody can escape. Si nadie se me escapa. So second. Got it. Okay. So I got the groups here in my cell phone and it's ready for tomorrow. It was a very interesting class, guys. Very interesting this class. I know that it's like at the beginning it's kind of hard, but don't worry. We are going to practice, and you are doing good. If I'm okay, okay. Be sure of it. Let me get the final attendance so we can finish and wrap it up. Let me tomar la última asistencia. Ana Maritza Flores Arbellón. Present. Elika Guadalupe Tobar de Melgar. Present. Paulio Enrique Hernández Sosa. Thank you, Braulio. Brian Alexander Rivas Sánchez. Present. Claudia Teresa Flamenco. Present. Elisa Saraí Martínez Ramírez. Present. Esmeralda Lisbeth Vázquez Silva. <laughs> Gabriela Guadalupe Celaya Sayas. Present. Karen de Sirem en Kibar de Sánchez. Catherine Beatriz Morales Calzadilla. Katia Estefanía Pineda Alvarado. María Teresa González de Lemos. Present. Marvin Gabriel Romero Cubíes. Present teacher. Milton Antonio García Castellano. Mirna Atenas Vanega Zamora. Present. Rebeca del Carmen Morales Molina. Present. Víctor Manuel Reyes Carvajal. And Xiomara Chamilet Mendoza Mendoza. Present. Guys, thank you very much. It was a pleasure. Muchas gracias. Fue un placer. I hope Profe, to see you tomorrow. A mí no me Bien time. No. Catherine no, no, si yo no escuché. Morales. Ajá. Presente. Mm. Okay, but I got it. Don't worry, don't worry. Oh, okay. You're cool. Fine, fine. See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Take care. Good night. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Good night, teacher. Bye, guys. Take care. Bye bye. Good night. Have a good night. Take care. Let's see. 
Okay. Now we are alone. Ahora sí ya nos abandonaron. Hello, Atenas. Hola. Hi. ¿Qué tal? Vaya, mire. Estos minutitos no es nada que nos preocupe. O sea, estoy relajada mm -hmm. y tranquila. Simplemente es como para ver si hay alguna, algún tema o algo lo que se ha visto que le está costando, le está dando problema. Creo que no. Creo que no? no. Ajá, entiendo. Bien lo que estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Que es el verbo mm -hmm. be. Ok. Ahora bien, ¿qué tal vamos con la plataforma? Eso quería preguntarle. Ya hice, bueno, según yo había hecho avanzada tres tareas, pero solo me reconoció una. No sé por qué. Pues, estamos acá. Ajá. Y estamos. Ok. Lo primero fue. Esta fue la tarea 1, ¿verdad? Sí. Michelle for manager, yes. Uh -huh. Ok, solo que aquí no sé por qué está esto. Debería estar aquí colgada la primera clase. Voy a hacer un reporte de eso. Luego viene la segunda clase. Y luego tenemos nosotros la tarea 2. Esta ya la realizó. Ajá, es lo que le comentaba. Yo el día de ayer hice la tarea 1, la 2 y la 3. Pero cuando este, revisé, solo me había reconocido la tarea 1. Entonces, no sé si es una diaria o se puede ir avanzando. No, usted puede ir avanzando de otra manera. Ah, pues no sé qué eso. me pasó. No sé qué me pasó porque yo le di... Su nombre sí, es y Mirna Atenas Vanegas. Ajá. Y solo no, me reconoció la tiene... tarea. No, usted tiene tres. Ah, ya tengo tres. Sí, en la sección uno tiene 20 de 20 en el primero, 20 de 20 en el segundo, 20 de 20 en el tercero. Le faltan solamente cuarta y quinta actividad. Son cinco tareas a la semana, entonces. En esta sección, sí. Ah, ok. Sí, pero estaba revisando yo ahí y uh, según su avance y estamos bien. Ah, bye, bye. Ah, pues sí, porque yo revisé después y solo me aparecía la tarea 1. Entonces dije yo, quizás no puedo ir avanzando antes de, 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 no, pero de sí la le clase. No, pero sí le aparecen las tres tareas. Ah, ok. O sea, le parece que ya la completó. Usted tiene ahorita de la sección 1, del 100%, tiene un 60% avanzado. Obtuvo 20 puntos en la primera, 20 en la segunda, 20 en la tercera. Vaya, ah, pues oh. voy a hacer mañana las otras dos. Vaya, y ahora quiero darle un tip que va a ser muy bueno para usted. Ok. Eh, algo extra que le va a servir que también nos lo da la plataforma. Esos chicos nos preparan una plataforma bastante bonita. Y es esto, amigo. Usted entra acá a la plataforma, ¿right? Sí. Si usted se viene aquí abajo donde dice centro de ayuda, you click on it, uh -huh. le va a aparecer esto. Uh -huh. ¿Okay? Se lo pliega como en formato de un blog. Se viene sí. nuevamente hasta abajo y aquí hay recursos académicos. Ah. Uh -huh. Aquí tiene este grammar, pronunciation, vocabulary. Si usted se viene a grammar, usted tiene basic, intermediate, advanced. ¿Sí? Uh -huh. Usted se viene a basic. Aquí hay temas, mire. The present of B, imperative. Ahorita estamos trabajando con the present of B, right? Ajá. Uh -huh. Entonces usted puede ver acá los archivos. Sí. ¿Ok? Sí, para Now, ir reforzando, ¿verdad? Eso era en grammar, pero también hay algo que es muy importante que nosotros tengamos en este momento y que yo le recomendaría más que la gramática es vocabulary. 
Ve acá la pantalla que se refiere. Si usted mira acá, ve a todos los temas. Numbers, time, everyday activities, adjectives, the classroom, the city. Vea cuántos temas distintos. Cada uno de estos despliega vocabulario. Entonces, that's helpful. Eso ayuda mucho. That can okay. help to increase. Uh, to be honest with you, mire, le voy a decir algo. No se me enfoque tanto en la gramática. It's very important, yes. Pero right now, I will recommend you more, tal vez un repaso del tema que vayamos viendo. Mm -hmm. But vocabulary, we need vocabulary. Usted necesita vocabulario, ¿por qué? Porque si usted tiene mucho vocabulario, con poquita gramática, usa todo el vocabulario. Puede expresar más ideas. Y los adultos tendemos a enfocarnos más cuando vemos la gramática, a querer entender la regla y hacerlo todo de acuerdo a la regla. Tiene que ver con parte de nuestros procesos mentales, pero eso nos hace un poquito más lentos. ¿Sí vamos a aprender? Sí, pero va a ser más lento. ¿Ok? Por eso es que sí. si usted se fija, el manual ha sido diseñado de manera tal que la gramática es poquito. El cuadrito donde va la explicación gramatical es poquito. Y es así bien breve. Why? Because right now is speaking, getting vocabulary. ¿Ok? Ok. Revisa. Sí, quizás yo no, no entendí al inicio por qué era como más práctica, o sea, del... Del sí, se siente del que de, de entrada y bastante vocabulario, dice uno. Ajá, porque, bueno, en otros cursos, ¿verdad? No es que esté comparando, pero no. eh, eh, a mí había fijado que le prestan como más atención a la estructura y a la pronunciación la llevan pareja. Pero yo cuestioné eso una vez y me dijeron, no, porque cuando usted está bebé, lo primero que aprende es hablar. Y después le enseñan a escribir. Yes. Entonces, ahora, ahí fue con, que comprendí que mejor es hablar y ya después ver la, la gramática. Es precisamente lo que estamos haciendo acá. Si se fija, mucho hablar, gramática poquito. En los cursos más avanzados se ven los temas gramaticales más complejos. Y ahí sí, pero usted ya va a hablar. La explicación del tema gramatical, del punto gramatical, se la van a dar en inglés. Y usted la va a entender. Sí. Yo le puedo explicar un punto gramatical muy complejo ahorita, pero tengo que explicárselo en español. No estamos haciendo nada. Así es. La, la idea es que usted, cuando lo venga a entender, yo se lo puedo explicar en inglés y usted lo entender. Ya lo entiendo. Exacto. Así que ahorita. Por eso es que le está dando más auge al, a, 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 al hablar, ¿verdad? En inglés. Sí. Y lo voy a apretar a hablar, le voy a dejar mal, porque voy a tener conversaciones, conversaciones, práctica, práctica, práctica. That's the idea. In this course, you can hate me, not the language. Aquí puede odiarme a mí, pero no el idioma. Sí. If you have any questions, si surge alguna duda, alguna pregunta, si en algún momento necesita que nos sentemos nuevamente y tengamos esos 10 minutos después de la clase, avíseme con tiempo. Uno... Usted me avisa hoy, por ejemplo, y yo puedo programarlo para el siguiente día, porque tengo unos días extra en este módulo. Ok. okay? Bye, Thank you very much, Atenas. Gracias. A pleasure a to have you here. No, no, my pleasure. Have a good night, take care. Good night.